People love freebies. And this is just an idea for you. If you're trying to drive people to your website, have a freebie. I have a freebie on my website. I have a free Passive Income Pro book, ebook. It's a book that I wrote and I offer it for free on my website. People come there, they buy it, but it's done so that it like pulls people in to my website to look at things and then the chances of them coming back then and making a purchase are greater because they, I've given them something for free, right? Um, so people love freebies. So we're going with the whole, I have a wedding business, right? I'm selling wet, wedding planners, digital wedding printables, all that kind of stuff. Wedding signs, wedding invitations, whatever. Um, the wedding industry is pretty saturated. You have to niche down if you're selling in it. Uh, but for this example, I thought it would be good because I knew we could get some easy research on it. Uh, so on Google, this is what I want to show you. It will tell you, so wedding planner is searched the most in District of Columbia, New York, Hawaii, South Carolina, Virginia, Alabama, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So it tells you the subregion that is searching the most for this term. Let's go back to um, the past day because what I noticed here, it's fall. Now, I swear to you, <laughs> just a minute ago, this said Vermont at the top. We're gonna go with Vermont just for the sake of this demonstration because I wanna show you what you can do with this. So we're talking about creating a freebie, right? So what I did was went over to ChatGPT and I asked it, give me a list of wedding venues in Vermont. Now it will tell you, when you ask for things like this, it will tell you that the last time that it was updated was September of 2021, which this didn't used to happen, but since they up, did the upgrade to plus version, now the old chat GPT, the free one, um, is la the last time it was updated was two years ago, but it's still great for research and for creating what you needed to create. There are a couple of other options out there like Bard, Jasper, like there's a lot of AI stuff out there now, so you don't have to use ChatGPT for this, but this still worked great for creating this freebie. So I'm, I have a wedding website on Shopify. I sell digital planners, digital, digital invitations, all the printables, all the things, right? So I wanna create a blog post to draw people from Pinterest to that blog post to um, have them, you know, visit my site, right? So I'm gonna create a list of the 10 best places, wedding venues in Vermont. So you could do this for whatever state is trending or, um, you know, Vermont in the fall or wedding venues for the fall, whatever. So it gave me a list of 10 venues that are in Vermont that are very popular, okay? Um, then it tells you, you know, their disclaimer, whatever. So then I told it list three reasons that details about each of these venues that would make them a perfect wedding venue. So at first it only did three details about the first three. So then I said, hey, do this again for all 10 venues and it did. So now I have 10 venues and these aren't just random facts. These are actually things that it pulled. The barn at Boyden Farms, um, the venue offers breathtaking views of Vermont's countryside and the Lemoy River Valley creating a picturesque backdrop for your wedding photos. Rustic charm, on-site accommodation. So like it tells you, like it's giving you the details. Do you guys know how many hours of research this would take to create a blog post about these? And so then you could actually tell ChatGPT to um, put all of this information, put this list into an engaging blog post for my website. It is writing a blog post for me. And basically it's just rewriting everything that it wrote before, but it added this little paragraph at the beginning and then it's going to add some information at the end. And basically when you're done, you have your free blog post created, or you could make this a printable that's free for, you know, a one sheet PDF that they can print out um, or even a checklist to go with this. But creating a freebie draws people into your website and then they will probably come back to you for more because you've given them this free information. Um, but so this wrote the blog post for me and then with ChatGPT you just hit copy and then you can literally paste this on your website. I would obviously go through and make sure, like I wouldn't say hello dear readers, that's not my tone of voice. 
I would, you know, put something different than that. But just go through and make sure that it kind of fits your tone of voice. If you don't like it, ask it to rewrite it. Like it will literally rewrite this for you over and over again until it is what you want it to be. Um, and you don't lose any of the previous things that you've done. So you can always go back and copy and paste bits and pieces as well. So you're gonna create a freebie. And as you can see, one steps to passive income. I have this for free. Um, and so you can add that to your website. You can put it in your blog. You can do whatever you want to with that. But that is how I would draw people in. Make sure you subscribe and follow along because I do post every single week about how to earn passive income, tutorials, all those types of things. So thanks for joining me. I will talk to you guys soon.